Okay, so let's look at the present perfect continuous. Again, helping verbs have, has, plus been, those are the helping verbs. The main verb will always end in ing. So in the present perfect, main verb ends in ing. In the past perfect, continuous, main verb ends in ing. In the future perfect, continuous, the main verb ends in ing all the time. So let's look at some of these sentences here and we can fill in the blanks. Leonel has blank working all afternoon. Okay, so we're going to look for the subject. The subject is Leonel. Has is a helping verb. We know the main verb is working. Main verb. So we need the other helping verb, which is been. Lionel has been working all afternoon. Been helping verb. Afternoon. So now, all is going to be an adverb here. Second sentence. Jose blank, been blank, and the verb is listen to the radio the past hour. Jose blank. Been blank to the radio the past hour. So we're missing the first helping verb. Jose has helping verb. Been helping verb. So the main verb has to end in ing, listening. To the radio, the past hour. To preposition, the adjective. Radio noun the adjective hour now what which hour so past here is going to be an adjective. Okay, hopefully you're following me. Past perfect continuous. Two helping verbs, one main verb. You, blank, been, blank, and the verb is wash your car lately. You, blank, been, Blank your car lately. You have been. Those are your two helping verbs. Wash. Main verb, we have to include the ing, washing.
your possessive adjective, car, noun, when, lately, adverb. And here, lately ends with an L-Y. That usually tips us that the word is more than likely uh, an adverb, not 100%. Okay, next sentence. We have been blank, the verb is play, computer games all night. We, subject pronoun, have been helping verbs. Playing main verb, you have been playing games now. Which games? Computer games. Adjective all adverb night noun mm -hmm. you blank blank searching for her for two months. You blank blank searching for her for two months. So we're missing the two helping verbs. You have been Two helping verbs. Searching, main verb. You is the subject pronoun. For, preposition. Her, pronoun. For preposition two hyphen months, one word. Now, next sentence. Oh, we have no helping verbs and no main verb. They blank 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 and the verb the main verb is going to be a form of wait home for him they blank 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 home for him so let's look at the main verb first we know it's going to end in ing so we know it's going to be waiting. So the sentence right now reads, they blank blank waiting home for him. They have been. They have been helping verbs. Main verb, waiting. Home is a noun. For is a preposition. And him is a pronoun.
And the last sentence, it, blank, blank, coming for some time now. It, blank, blank, coming for some time now. It has. Been, helping verb, coming, main verb. Okay. So here we have four. Here is going to be a subordinating conjunction. Sometimes is going to be an adverb and now an adverb. So if we invert this, for some time now, it has been coming. Okay. So let's go over these sentences again. Lionel has been working all afternoon. Jose has been listening to the radio the past hour. You have been washing your car lately. We have been playing computer games all night. You have been searching for her for two months. They have been waiting home for him. It has been coming for some time, some time now. Okay, so that's some practice with the present perfect continuous. I need to change the board. Give me a second, please. Okay, in unit eight, the grammar uh, contains the present perfect continuous and phrasal verbs. So, what is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a verb plus a preposition. A verb plus a preposition. So let's look at some sentences here. After a long battle, after a long battle with the virus, comma, Ramon passed away yesterday. Passed away. So what does pass away mean? Pass is uh, a verb. Away is going to be the preposition here, right? So pass away means he died. Ramon died. So when we look at this sentence, we see that we have a comma after a lot of words. Not one word. If there was one word comma, it would be an adverb. If it was a small a phrase, two or three words comma, then you could assume that it's going to be a preposition. Prepositional phrase. So, 
When we look at this sentence here, we see the comma, we say, aha, it looks like a complex sentence. So let me go to the first word. After is a subordinating conjunction. A is an adjective. Long is going to be another adjective. Battle is going to be a noun. With is going to be a preposition. The adjective. Virus is going to be a noun. And battle here is going to be the subject noun. Right, okay. Ramon is going to be the subject noun. Passed away is going to be a phrasal verb when yesterday. Okay. So let's look at sentence number two. After he left Atlanta, comma, he came into a large fortune. After he left Atlanta, he came into a large fortune. So again, we see a comma, And we look at the first word, it's going to be a subordinating conjunction. He, subject, pronoun, left, it's going to be a verb, Atlanta, noun, after he left Atlanta. He, subject pronoun, came into, came is a verb, into is a preposition, so it's a phrasal, phrasal verb, and it means inherit, a, adjective, large, adjective, fortune, is a noun. So here, came into means inherit. He inherited a large fortune. Okay, it's a phrasal verb. Let's look at the next sentence. Can you tell me how it came about? Okay, come about or came about means happen. Can modal verb, you subject pronoun, tell verb, me pronoun, how adverb, it, pronoun, happened, or came about. Okay? So here we have some modal verbs. Uh, excuse me. Uh, some phrasal verbs. Passed away, which means died. Came into, means inherit or inherited. And came about, happened. Happened. Okay, and we have some more sentences that we're going to work with in a couple of minutes. Uh, and I'm going to share with you the difference between separable phrasal verbs and inseparable phrasal verbs. See you soon.